What is going on there guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Hawk RFC Creator Cup Career Mode in FIFA 22. Oh, it's nice to be back. We I've took a I've had a little break off career mode to be honest. It's been probably probably been about a week since I've been on it or done anything. I've I've edited videos and stuff, but it's good to be back. So I will just refresh and see where we were up to and all that. Um but we're gonna start the episode with a simulation against West Ham, they are 14th, so I would, I'm just going to hope, because I know the simulation's a bit tough for us, and we do win, Neto gets us the big win, Neto gets a brace, awesome, he's actually doing pretty well in the prem, got to say, uh, well, actually, I think he was on 14 goals, so he'll be on 16 now, so he's actually catching up to Raul Kuna, uh, who isn't on the top of the goal scoring charts just yet, I think, can't quite, I'll, I'll have a little look when we get back into the Premier League fixtures. We have got a FA Cup fixture coming up. Obviously, we've already won the Carabao Cup. We still have a chance of doing every trophy. What will will be an absolute just it, it'd just be mental to do that. But I promise you, even if that's the case, this is not the last season by any stretch. Like we're still going to be doing quite a few couple of seasons, quite a few seasons of this career mode because I'm enjoying it far too much. And I would love to, eventually when we do win the Champions League, I'd love to go back to back in it, or at least win it again. But we'll see. But let's go. We have got Peterborough in the FA Cup. So we're getting a little bit fortunate. Um, let me just change a couple of these players around. Like Scarlet can go into there. Uh, I think that will do that. Yeah, I'll keep Bogle in there. Everyone else is okay. I'll play with my second team out there. These guys, I would have thought, have been absolutely most will be championship. I've still got a cracking team out there. Can we get the job done? Yes, we do. And Mad gets a brace and Plow gets the other one. We are still going in the FA Cup. Funnily enough as well, we're, this was the quarterfinals of the FA Cup as well. We are just getting so goddamn deep into this into the season already and so deep into the competitions. And we've got the round of 16 against Betis here. We are 2-1 up. This is the first game of the episode I will be playing. I would usually like to actually simulate at least one leg of the, of the legs, but... When we play the first and we don't win it by a good enough margin, I can't risk it. I'd rather play it and try and make sure we go through. Usually it takes at least a two to three goal lead before I actually consider simulating. But here against Real Betis, we will we will uh, most likely just go out with our best style. We have got a big game coming up against Brighton, who are coming up in the Premier League with us. So, but either way. Uh, the team is very fresh, so I'm going to stay with that. We're going to be back at Hawkeye, and we have got 2-1 lead. These guys, to be honest, we, I think we battered them in the first leg, but we just couldn't get the goals. But can we get the job done? Can we get through to the Champions League quarterfinals? Here we go. Let's get straight at this second leg against Real Betis. Faced quite a few Spanish clubs in the past. Oh, it feels weird. I've not been on FIFA at all in days. And straight away, I get a good tackle. Good. Now, uh, now William Salabar. Still going here. Oh my god. Oh! Hard nearly powered that. Pound that away. Salabar coming up. Just, he just was allowed to. Oh, we've got Cabral, yeah? Oh, but brilliant put back work! Oh my god! I got back with Curtis Jones. He just somehow went straight past Simican. He just palmed it off to Pellegrini. And he absolutely lasered down to the top corner past Laporte. Look at this. A really bloody goddamn lucky bat. He just bounced around. And the captain Pellegrini for them. 
has gotten back on level terms. Not ideal. Oh, they're just getting the, the, the sights right now. Oh, the poor gets absolutely slammed there. Wow, what a turn. That is just lightning from Mendes. He sees the gap. Mendes is going to go for it. He's absolutely killed one. Turn. A special goal. That is a beauty of a finish. Oh, okay, FC had missed you. Come on. Look at this. Just the power, the speed. He saw a gap. But look at that. Still absolutely tons to do. But that is such a prime hit from the Ronaldo region, Mendes. Oh wow, Salva, brilliant play there. Salva straight through to Acuna. He can have an assist here. And Acuna always oh, tipped by Hard. Again, Salva is doing really well, just breaking them lines. Oh, Green is there. Gets it inside to Illich. Ah, oh, Simikan. Oh, I'm just trying to get it away. And fucking Hernandez is there now. And that's not even Hernandez, it's Gavral. Oh, come on. I get it here. I'm looking, but we got everything covered. I should have just booted it away. I'm, I'm being... I, I was hoping I could maybe just run outside of him, but I couldn't. Ah, oh, and I fucking... That's just my fault, but I can't blame anyone else. I'm still... Oh, referee, you're a fucking joke. Wow. How is the hell did Illich do that? He just poked the ball away, he slid in. Oh no, the point is there, thank God. Oh, Kuna, he's got the better of oh, Montiel. And now Kuna gets the job done, as he always seems to. Raul Kuna is going to get us ahead again with 2 2 in the fixture. We're through. With 4-3 on aggregate, what a time this is turning out to be. What a game. This is just backwards and forwards, really. Oh, Gavi, that is fabulous. And Acuna now. Now Vincent! Oh, I saved by hard. See we can! It's Salva! Oh, I can't quite poke it at home. Oh my fucking god, are you... Look at this mess. I... Salva, he like, just gets a knock. It just makes him fucking do a fucking split. So he can't move for about fucking 30 seconds. And we're behind again and we'll level on fucking goal advantage. Oh my god, what is that, Gavi? Did it absolutely fabulous to get in the position you did. But no curl on it. He just went straight... Straight ahead. Might work out this one. Might work out. Might work out. Akuna is in the bar. You have to be killing. 
You have to be kidding me. It's been inception. Vincent! Yes! This is prime play! Come on! This is just no defending, all attacking. Oh, what a game back into it. Jesus. Definitely need to make some substitution. Vincent has been a bit quiet today. Gotta to get a goal, and it could be the all important one if we can keep Betty's out. Oh, I'm in the right place. Good lad. Now we only got a few minutes left. That is a good bit of play. And now Akuna to finish it. Ref! Ref! Wow, we're going to get a free kick in a very good position here. Oh, oh my God, they got red carded. Oh my God, I didn't realise. I mean, it was last man and everything, so... But then again, he, he played an advantage. Get it. What a whistle ref! Oh my god, this ref needs sacking! They just nearly cost us that! Unbelievable! But holy shit, we are through! What a game! It had everything! Unbelievable, we do get through to the quarter-finals of the Champions League. We won the Europa League, first time of asking our first time ever in Europe. Can we win the Champions League with first time of asking? Let's get right out and about it. Our Hawk Highlight again, two back-to-back -back home games for us. Hopefully not as interesting as the best game, hopefully we can make this a little bit more straightforward but we'll see the only changes big changes i'm making is the wingers the plow and the hour are going to get a start what was i saying that shit's not gonna happen is it oh my god we just get absolutely ripped to shreds oh my god what who's at fault here really I bring Simikan out, it's just a quick ball behind the back and Gori runs onto it. Oh my god, are you serious? Come on lads! It's only his third goal in 28 as well, bloody hell, he's not scored much. And we just let him in lazy like that. Oh, Vincent goes from downtown with a goal here, but of course he's going to get to that. Did that go in? And it did. From that, I, a really crappy corner, to be honest. Gabby just headed it out to him. He took a touch and absolutely walloped it. It didn't look like he had that much power on it. Look about one touch, bang. That is an absolute scorcher. Back to back, brilliant goals. Oh, Dahlberg. He's got some room. The Simikan is a big motherfucker and he's not going to get beaten there. That's right, brilliant. This could be brilliant. Vincent is another save by his motherfucker. Simikan! Oh my god! And Salva, if I've I could have switched over quick enough. I could have maybe kept that in. That is a weird direction to 
to make a tackle there, Bogle, but he got away with that one. How about Gabby? Brilliant piece of play, that. And now, Akuna is putting on skills. Can he finish it? And he is! What a goal by Raul Kuna! Just eyes, control, his dribbling, his finish is fantastic! And we take the lead here at Hawkeye Lane. So that's right, a little bit of a step over just to get away from number three. And again, that goalkeeper got somewhere onto that. Holy shit, he's just incredible. He's not going to get onto that. Wow, what a tackle by whoever that is. I'm at Diallo now. Straight through the middle. No, he's through to Vincent. He's hit the post. And Palumbo is just keeping Brighton into his game. Gabby, though. Gabby's going through. And Palumbo is going to get that. Can we head this down? Yes, we do. Castro is made up. Brilliant! And he's put Palumbo in there again. Oh, Kuna's there, but he can't get a touch onto it. Oh, he's absolute chaos in this uh, in this game. And now Bogle is running. He's got the pace. Wow, he's just wow, he's going right through the middle. Oh, Bogle! He's come through to Akuna! He puts it wide! It's very fortunate how he got it. He just take cannon off deflections. Bogle just going a long, long way. Simi Khan. Oh, he does that well. Brian, first touch for him. Now Scarlett. Oh, maybe he could get a goal here. He's getting chased by Lamptey. Oh, and I think the pressure. Oh, I messed that up. I really messed that up. I mean, he could have done a bit better than that. But oh, I, I, I could feel that was a bit my fault as well. Brilliant from Saliba. Oh, we're getting it. We're getting a look at a green there. Oh, my God. How we got away with that? Now, China Prow, he has a bit of room to work working here. Jamie Wright. Oh, I was trying to sell Brian. He ran into me. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? How did that go through? Oh my fucking, are you fucking... It's the last kick! Are you fucking kidding me, dude? We wasted so many chances! That motherfucking ginger trap bag fucking saved like fuck. I'd love to see how many. Let me just look. How many goddamn saves did that fucker make? Look at 17 shots to fire for. That is absolutely pathetic finishing. How many saves? The goalkeeper. The goalkeeper made seven saves. Oh my fucking. <sighs> Bathing him is another 10 shots. What should have. Should have at least had a chance. So our next game, very disappointed about that game against Brighton. I feel like we needed to, we needed to win that, and we were, we we were good enough. The fact they only had four shots on our on our goal, we had seventeen. We should be finishing it, especially when it's a free kick as well. The kick, that free kick seemed to be. I mean, it was a free kick, but he more ran into me. But you know, whatever. Um, got his game against. Brentford, we've got a similar best team. We have got two games in hand on Chelsea, but we are facing them next. We do get to win Gavi and Jones, and Akuna missed the penalty, unfortunately. Do need to start taking our chances. We actually get clean sheet as well. 
It's the one thing I've, like, I've, I've given up on trying to do. I'm just going to hope it happens. Getting clean sheet stuff. We have got Chelsea now. If we beat these guys, we'll still have another game on them. So, <laughs> we have a chance. We could eventually go six points clear of them. It feels like it's going to be between them and City at absolute most who we're going to be fighting with a title for. Again, we've got loads of players. We've got players going up like Vincent's up to an 86 now. I have, by the way, made a decision. Uh, I'm actually going to put Jamie Bryant on the bench ahead of Fulham. Simply because Bryant's a lot younger. And also, I want to see someone like Bryant grow because he's a very good player. Fulham will play plenty. He'll, he will play, he'll put him and Bryant are usually the ones I play in my second team anyway. As you can tell there. But anyway, I actually haven't changed. I need to actually put in Scarlet for that, to be honest. There we are. Just, just so then Scarlet can be my backup goal striker there. But we have got Chelsea, who is, it is a top of the table clash. We've got very good players on there. Again, it's a five at the back, what's very annoying, but... Uh, I may have to make some changes just due to fitness because a lot of them are tired. Well, it's mainly the back, center backs, but I don't really want to change them too much, just especially for a game like this. I may play, I may change Jones, and I may change Mendes. Let's go, top of the table clash against Chelsea. We are at the point we are on top, probably only by goal difference. I think we are level on points with them. But if we win this, we've still got a game in hand on them. So it's all in our hands to deal with this. I've made very minor changes, but it's big change to be honest. Jones and Mendes dropped down to the bench just due to them being in more time than anyone else. Brian and the Plow both come in. Apart from that, it's a full strength start in 11. Do want to have a little look at this Chelsea team and see if they made any other improvements on that last year. Last year. Starting 11 out there, bar for them two changes. Again, we're rocking with the away kit, what looks absolutely damn fire. I really like the grey kit, it looks very, very nice. Obviously, I've got Curtis Jones and Mendes on the bench. Obviously, Mendes is a former Chelsea player. Uh, Shikoshi in goal for them. Very well known backline. Fabio Vieira not with. Havertz, oh, Duarte is a big player. Jordan Fernandez not very familiar with. And also Calvert Win Lewin there. So we've got some very good players. No Werner. Don't know where he is. I don't know if they've let, let him go or what. But he was, especially when he first came into the Prem, he was an absolute twat to play against. But can we at least just please start a little bit better than we did against Brighton, please? Taking a piss. How many times? Three games in a row, this has shit's happened. Comes off fucking Salaber. The point is down to the way he's getting shot. And it comes off. Oh, that is just. How much more bullshit you're gonna fucking throw at me, eh? You are fucking just making so many mistakes right now. Absol absolutely no one there! 
Gavi, Binton, Bryant, fucking move. That's it. That's better. Jamie Bryant, finish it off. Get in. One all. Bryant's going to get an absolutely crucial goal. Vincent's going to get another assist. That is what I want you to do fucking from the start. Move. Make runs. Make it easier. Wow. We just got torn apart. Fucking Calvert Lewin, are you kidding me? I have to go there with Castro. I need my fucking AI. Salba doing fuck all again. He's fucking way off doing fuck all standing there when he should be pulling over. It's good from Simicad. Vincent move up. He's gonna be offside! Fuck's sake! Oh, piss off, Havertz! He just literally fucking controlled down his fucking chest around Brian. Are you fucking kidding? Oh my god, Salah, we got oh, such a weird tackle. The referee has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes of added time. Come on, can we get something back? That's a good ball. Akuna! Yeah! Take that, Chelsea! And Brian, again, brilliant, brilliant ball. And Akuna is not offside this time. 16 and 30. Go, gonna go every other game. Good. That is a hell of a ball by Brian. He is putting in some peaches today. Oh, and that is a really. That is exactly what I wanted to do from Neto as well, and he did it. Just to squash her, he just saved it brilliantly. Is down this our right hand side. That is brilliant from Jane Bogle. Gets us the ball back as well. Vincent. Oh, Kuna uses his pace against Strikunia. And now it's a Kuna! He's a weapon with him! I don't know if our player around the goalkeeper put. The defender and the goalkeeper off from diving, but I don't give a damn. We finally lead in this game. Skriniar doesn't have the pace he used to have. Raul Kuna has 99 pace anyway. Oh my god, Gavi just ducked. Look at this. Look at <laughs> He had to duck just in case it hit him, but I don't think it would have either way, but we come out of the blocks. That goal right at the end of the first half looks even more important. Wow, Fernandez has absolutely done Jay and Bogle there. But Jay and Bogle, that is a fantastic recovery from you, fella. Love it. He's getting chased, though. And now Vincent, he has pace too. And Fernandez has it as well. But Vincent! He makes no mistake. He gets his. And we are we're, we're, we're walking away with this. We're starting to take over the tie. It looked really dumb and gloom for a very long time. But when we got that goal right at the end of the half, it changed the dynamic of this game. Sukosha couldn't get to it. Brilliant. 4 2. Let's go. Let's get his three subs on. Wood's going to come on. Delort and Diallo. Oh, right. Good for Diallo, to be honest. Oh, Fernandez gets sat down. Now Chilwell. Oh, he's, he's, oh, he's put him on a chopping block. The plow's there. Oh, but somehow he doesn't make it pay. 
No, that's not what I was looking for. Diallo! Oh, David Enderby couldn't get it on target. He got found by Gavi absolutely spectacularly. Diogo Dallo. Diallo took that absolutely brilliant. And that is a brilliant! Oh! That is filth! That is absolute filth from Diallo! What a cross! No what a header! Oh my god! This is spectacular! He like he just cuts across the ball. Look at this! Look at this! He just cuts across the ball! Finds the head of Gavi. He just diving at her as well. They always look good. Ah, oh, that is beautiful. That is goddamn beauty in motion. This has been an absolutely spectacular game and a spectacular episode for us. We got a little bit done in the game against Brighton, but we still did some good goals in that. The lot now. Just deal with that. Diallo. Maybe if the referee lets us go. No! Co referee! How many times do you let that go for the opposition and not old? You're a fucking corrupt prick sometimes, but whatever. 5 2. And we come away with it. If we can't keep clean sheets, we will outscore you if we need to. But that last goal was an absolute peach. Love it. And we are. We have got. A bit of a lead now on the top and we've still got a game in hand on these guys do you know what i just realized as well what made that last goal even more beautiful the what the chance before that was when gavi put it in and diallo went for the diamond header and then diallo just switched positions like no i'm the crosser you're the scorer bang that was just oh beautiful absolutely and by the way holy shit next episode quarter final against psg what's what is the other actual uh, rounds so we've got Leverkusen versus Real Madrid we've got Bayern Munich versus Napoli PSG versus us Man City versus Inter so some juicy ones I think ours is possibly the more juicy one and we're gonna have to be on the on the on our toes I wonder if we've we got an FA Cup bout oh yes yeah, it's, it's our semi-final bout against Brighton and Hove Arbion, a team who, to be honest, they were a bit of a, a dodgy team for everyone in, in career mode. They always seem to build a team what just frustrates you, and they score quite a bit as well. But look at that! Leeds United, Watford, us, and Brighton. If we don't win the FA Cup, I've, I've said, like, how many times have we just been knocked out in the first round of the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup? This year, we've already won the Carabao Cup. This it'd be a crime if we don't win the, the the FA Cup as well. I mean, Champions League if we get beat by PSG is a little bit more realistic because they're I would have thought at this point in the career they'd be having a great team. To be quite fair, in the next episode I don't apart from this game against Spurs, probably these other Premier League games I'll probably simulate and focus more on like the FA Cup semis. But then again. I may not even get the whole out of this month next episode because I'll depending on what happens in this first away game against PSG I may have to pay, play the second leg I'll probably simulate these at these Premier League games here but the Spurs one will be a bit more important same with the Leicester one as well and and the Brighton game so possibly I might even have to leave it around this this Spurs game depending on what happens and it might just be Champions League games next episode but we'll see we are getting quite close to the end of the season. Well, we've only got like two full months left, maybe in a third. If so, it's probably another three, two to three episodes, depending on what if we make finals and stuff like that. Uh, if we do make finals, that'll probably be its own episode, and we'll probably finish the Premier League in the in the preliminary episode. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how it works. But this is not going to be the last season if we win everything, guys. But don't you worry. We'll be doing at least another season because obviously I want to win the Super Cup as well. Oh, we already won that, sorry. 
They already won that against Real Madrid. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'd love to do back to back with that. I'd love to try with the Champions League again. Not only that, I really, really want to try and get a 90 rated squad. Like a whole 90 rated squad. I would love to do that. So I'd be like, I've already got Castro on the verge. I've got Neto on the verge. He's 29 though. I'm getting a bit worried he may not make it. Uh, I've got Bogle who could make it. I'm hoping he goes up to an 89 quick. Salba, 28. I don't think he's going to get it. But then again, I am really struggling because I can't buy 90 rated players. It's so damn frustrating. I mean, the only thing I could do is hope that there's like a free agent what's 90 rated. But it's very rare you'll find that. Simicad, 28. He could possibly. Free off. Really good season. You never know. Vincent is also, is definitely. Jones, possibly. It depends. It's sort of why I'm trying to give Brian a bit of a chance because he grows like he's growing like a madman. And after that, look at that. He's 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 a, he's a very very nicely all rounded squad player as well. So I'm going to keep him on the on the team. Diallo, to be quite fair, possibly I could. It, it's hard. What I'll probably do in the in the next season to make it easy, like someone like Salba, I'll go out and buy. A really good 85 or 84 rated young, young defender, like maybe a regen. Same with possibly. Same with possibly a right back, but I don't think I'd need to change Bogle right now. Then again, I don't. I can't get anyone above his overall anyway, and I, I, I'm absolutely in love with Bogle. I think he's. To say, I'm so happy. We finally found a couple of fullbacks who I like and who are playing good. Castro is immense. Oh my god, I love him. He could he could honestly go way higher than 90. He could get like up to like a Kuna's level if he just keeps growing. Bogle is just an absolute godsend. Like he's just unbelievable. Neto, Mendez, oh I mean Mendez with his age, he and the and the player he's supposed to be behind, he should almost certainly get to that night of potential. Acuna's already there. Vincent will definitely get there. Gavi's already there. It's more of the defenders, the right back. The goalkeeper should as well. He's 21. He's doing absolutely fine. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave that here. Hope you have enjoyed. Please give me a big thumbs up if you have. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And until the next episode, guys, take it easy. Bye-bye.